Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your extended weekly love forecast for April 16th to the 22nd. Yeah, I just want to make sure I wrote that down. Um, so guys, remember this is going to be a long one. So get your coffee or tea or your wine or whatever you need. Let's get this started, okay? All right, what's going on with my Virgos for the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, and the 22nd, please, of April 2019. Okay. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, and the 22nd. All right, and the overall, wow, you're dealing with marriage, long-term commitment, or tradition here, the Hierophant card. Go ahead, Virgos, go ahead, Virgos. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with your partner. This is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages, by the way. And guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. Much appreciated. All right, what's going on, my Virgos? For the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, and the 22nd, please. All right, so also, guys, remember these are general love messages. They're not going to resonate with everybody. So you can check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign if this doesn't resonate with you. And also, you can get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the link below. Overall energy, Aries, uh, oh my God, why can't I think? <laughs> Aries Leo or um, Sagittarius energy going on here is someone is really beautiful, uh, attractive with the Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see what's going through your cards, guys. All right, so we got your side, Nine of Wands energy, Ten of Swords, Two of Wands, Two of Cups, wow, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and Eight of Pentacles. Your partner. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of, of Wands, uh, the Eight of Pentacles, go, excuse me, Seven of Pentacles going on here. And we got the uh, Knight of Pentacles going on here. So let's talk about what's going on here. I'll only clarify as I need to, okay? Because I want to make sure that I get this out to you as quickly as possible. All right, so it looks to me like on the 16th, I'm sorry about the glare. I don't. I had to change seats. I don't know. I felt like I needed more like a stable seat. The, the couch was like a little bit. When you when you're you doing readings for a long time, you're just like, all right, I need something firm to sit on. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear about. It. <laughs> anyway, Knight of uh, uh, Swords energy tells me there's some kind of worry and anxiety uh, going on, because the person that you're dealing with is a bit indecisive about a decision here on the 16th. Okay. So um, someone here is indecisive about indecision and you're feeling worried and anxious about it. All right, that's your energy for the 16th. So let's see what's going on here. So because of this energy, we go into the 17th, which is 10 of swords. It's like you just want to lay in bed and like chill out and just like forget it i'm not going to work today i'm just going to stay home and i'm going to chill out i'm not going to school today i'm just going to just just going to lounge around in my bed <laughs> ten of swords energy you're just going to lounge around in your bed uh because you're just you know you had worry and anxiety about this indecision and now today you're dealing with the energy from the other person of okay i'm just going to be political i'm going to think with my head over my heart here and this is hurtful to you, you know, this is hurtful to you. They're trying to be logical, political, and you're just like, this is so hurtful. But don't worry, Ten of Swords energy tells me that, that you're coming out of this, all right? So even though this seems like, oh my God, I'm just going to lay here, I don't want to get up, um, you're coming out of this. This is the end of this. This is the end of this pain. And as you can see from the other cards we're looking at later on in the week, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. So just because that day is going to be eh, one of days, just chill out because it looks like we go forward into the week. It looks pretty good. Okay. All right. So we got the energy on the 18th. Uh, your partner is the queen of cups energy. Should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? Either you're coming out like this or they're coming out like this. Someone here is like using their life experiences. Like, do I really want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love? And you can see the energy here is the two of wands energy. 
So your energy over here is the two of wands. So you need to make a decision. So you may be coming out as the queen of cups on their side. Like, do I want to, do I not want to deal with this person? You know, yesterday I was really hurt by what they did with this queen of swords energy here. Uh, today I'm just like, I want to make the decision. Do I want to move forward, not want to move forward with this person? All right, so that's how you're, you're making a decision on the 18th about what to do with the situation. So now we come to the 19th, which looks pretty damn good overall here. So two of cups energy, soulmate connection, choice towards love here. Two of cups energy, soulmate connection. Your partner is the knight, the king of wands. So they're trying to make wise choices when it comes to their passion, okay? They're, they're coming out as a leader, a born leader here, a uh, passionate individual. And you're just like, okay, again, we're dealing with the choice thing here. But now you're basing your choice on love. So you're making your making your choice on love. You do want to make a choice that is going to bring a union together, you know, a soulmate connection. And the person that you're dealing with is like, okay, well, all right, then I'll just be wise. I'll I'll make wise decisions when it comes to my passion. And you're like all about, okay, I'm gonna have some kind of choice here I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna base it on love here. Two of Cups energy. So then we come to the 20th. <laughs> you're like, okay new opportunity when it comes to love you're like all right i'm going to go with the opportunity that i i love all right ace of cups love potential for love possibility for love so we do have possibility for love for my virgos on the 20th which is great ace of cups energy it's like cupid's arrow just hit you like boom all right now this person's like sweating it out if you look here they're like sweating it out like oh man i put a lot of time in this now you're talking about new love you know, they put a lot of sweat and time into this. They invested a lot of time. They want to reap the harvest now, but you're making them wait. <laughs> Are you going to wait it out here going on? All right, so I want to just clarify that real quick. What is going on here with this? Ace of Cups energy here, Ace of Cups energy here, Ace of Cups energy here, Ace of Cups energy here. You are potentially taking a, an offer of love or you see a potential for an offer of true love here. And the reason why is because it's something to do with heartache, three of swords energy, an ending of a pain that you've gotten over. All right. So you've decided to end a pain and heartache and you've decided to celebrate three of cups energy. Maybe you've found this new opportunity. Maybe this is the same person and you've decided to, to take a new opportunity with this person. Maybe this is a new person from your friendship circle, three of um, Three of Cups energy. All right. So let me see what's going on with the other person. Seven of Pentacles energy here. We have Seven of Pentacles energy. Why is the partner's energy the Seven of Pentacles energy? This is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, by the way. So whoever your love interest is. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Page of Swords, someone's being childish, Page of Swords, because of the ending of a pain. A three of Cups energy. <laughs> so it looks like you've communicated to this person that, you know, you've come out of being hurt now and you want to like celebrate in that. You, you want to, you potentially either are looking at another option here because they did see there was a choice here to be made, okay? Or you decided you're making this person wait, person wait now because you want to follow your heart. Maybe you see a new opportunity in your friendship circle. Uh, maybe someone you're hanging out with. Um, but there's definitely a potential for a new opportunity here for my Virgos. Whether that be a renewed opportunity with this other person that you're dealing with. Or this is a new person that you're dealing with. Uh, you, definitely, you definitely are going to have some kind of potential for some... For love and true love here with this ace of cups energy and obviously it's right next to the soulmate energy so it's really really good all right so let's go for the 21st three of pentacles you know i saw three working together teamwork three creative energy three all right and the bear represents a boss a manager uh work <laughs> it's interesting because technically Maybe you see this person that is a new opportunity at work, possibly. Okay, maybe you found some kind of new opportunity at work here. 
my Virgos, <laughs> or you've had this opportunity now to work together and with the bear energy is like the emperor, you're allowing things to unfold naturally. Okay, this other person is ready to move forward with you. This is your energy, earth energy here, Virgo energy here. They're ready to move forward with you, but they want to do it slowly. They want to do it slowly. Like, yeah, okay, I'm ready for a long-term commitment here. And you're like, oh, wow, uh, I, I actually can work with this person. Teamwork, working together. Okay, I'll allow things to unfold naturally. Uh, that's what's going on for the 21st. Now, what is going on for the 22nd here? Well, you have the Eight of Pentacles energy, which represents work again. So you possibly could be working on work stuff on this day. Or you could be dealing with a person from your workplace school apprenticeship here eight of pentacles energy and you need to make a decision because the scythe represents some kind of sudden decision some kind of decision has to be made here and the other person you're dealing with is like all right i'm going to use my head over my heart i want to make wise decisions when it comes to things all right so i'm going to use my head over my heart here and make wise decisions so that's the energy we're dealing with this day let's kind of get more information here why is the eight of pentacles here why is the eight of pentacles here why is the eight of pentacles here you have to make a decision and I think there may be a new opportunity for you guys at your workplace or school or apprenticeship here um, and you have this new offer of love here ace of cups so now if this is not the person that you're already dealing with this is definitely a new offer here in Virgo all right this is potential for love all right true love here that you have yep then we got the Empress right below it which is abundance love and Queen of Swords, so you're having to use your head on this. You're trying to be political and making this decision. And why is the King of Swords on their love interest side? Why is the King of Swords on the love interest side? Six of Pentacles. They want an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. Because of heartache. Three of Swords. And a decision. Two of Pentacles. So it looks to me like the decision is surrounding this situation because of um, someone wanting an equal give and take and because of heartache that happened. But Virgo, it looks very positive for you. I mean, I see the ace of pentacles, excuse me, the ace of, I see the, 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 the darn soulmate card. I see the ace of cups here. I clarified what this eight of pentacles was. It looks like you need to make this choice here. If, if you're not dealing with another person here, you may have to make another decision about another person here, okay? Because it looks like there's a new opportunity here, a potential for a new opportunity here, possibly your workplace, school, or apprenticeship here, that you're gonna have to make a decision on. And you have this other person saying, okay, I'm ready to move forward with you, but I wanna do it slowly. And you're just like, um, hmm. Three of Pentacles tells me potentially there could be another person here that you may have to make a decision about possibly in a workplace maybe with a manager or someone who's in charge of something so if it's school then you could think of them like um a professor or you know or teacher or someone who has authority um or you know uh when, when it comes to workplace the the uh the bear represents a manager someone in charge a supervisor okay so just be aware of that my virgos <laughs> My Virgos are going to have a fun week. <laughs> All right, let us get some overalls for you guys. <laughs> mm. My Virgos are going to have a fun week. <laughs> this is great. This is a good week for everybody, actually. It seems to be so far. All right, so let's see what's going on, my Virgos, for their overall. All right, can I have an overall of what's going to happen for my Virgos current romantic love life for their blockage for their strength for the, something from the passive effect of the current love state who's coming towards them romantically that they would be interested in and their potential overall outcome for the 16th to the 22nd of April show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see alright current blockage strength um, something from the past who's coming toward my Virgos let me throw another card on that. Interesting. Potential outcome. Just as I said, my Virgos. Mm -mm -mm. And overall outcome, transformational energy, the death card, or something has to end to start something new here, my Virgos. 
Oh my God, I forgot to get my advice for my Virgos. I keep doing that, geez. All right, let me get some more advice for my Virgos. Can I have advice for my Virgos, please? For the week of the 16th to the 22nd, for the overall advice, for what they should do, please. Show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. Okay, okay. You're gonna have to make a decision here, Virgo. I can see it, especially with the advice card too. You are gonna have to make a decision here. Okay, um, so I definitely think this week you have some kind of potential for some kind of new opportunity here. Let me just grab it, a sip of this real quick. Mm. <sighs> Nothing like some caffeine. Salute to all my caffeine drinkers out there. <laughs> I hope you guys are drinking your tea, your coffee, your wine, whatever. You know this was going to be a long one. All right, your current romantic love life. We have the Knight of Wands energy. So we look like we're dealing with a current situation. We're dealing with a situation where Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, some kind of movement towards some kind of passion. So one of you guys wants some kind of passion here. Obviously, it's not a commitment kind of energy. It's a movement of passion energy. So... A player kind of I'm not saying they're a player but they're you know someone's not committing here not not com committing completely with the Knight of Wands energy so that's the current energy that we started out with right so the blockage here is actually choices so my Virgos I do believe this is you because I'm just looking at the advice cards here and saying that you have to decide what, what you know basically if you have unrequited love with this person or if this is the one or if there's chemistry here so it shows me that this is your decision to make okay seven of cups energy which is what this card is so there's an indecision going on and a lack of commitment here right knight of uh knight of wands energy oops yes a spirit punctuates that right on the card your strength being wise when it comes to long-term commitment. So making the wise decision here, Virgo, is your strength for your romantic love life this week. King of Pentacles energy. This is also your energy, your earth sign. So you're taking the leadership role here. And also I've noticed that there was something involving the workplace. King of Pentacles, a boss, a workplace, right? King of Pentacles. Hmm, what's going on, my Virgos? You have to let me know in the comments below what's going on with this situation. This is really interesting. <laughs> All right, something from the past. You were burdened or someone was burdened with some kind of indecision. We did see that going into this. So there was an indecision here, right? And you were worried and anxious about it. So some kind of burden and indecision here. Who is coming towards you? It looks like a couple people coming towards you. Because I got the Nine of Pentacles energy, which tells me someone is single and available here that's coming towards you single and available and they're potentially pretty well off to nine of pentacles energy and when then we got the leo card uh obviously some kind of passion going on here some of you are really really passionate about leo card so somebody potentially is coming in there or entering in here or is here that is somebody who's single and available who could be pretty well off financially or they just are financially you know secure okay nine of pentacles energy and the strength card represents something to do with some kind of passion, controlling someone's passions. Definitely feeling very passionate towards you, my Leos. Excuse me, my Virgos. <laughs> the, the strength card is a Leo. <laughs> Alright, so, could be a potential Leo. Alright, so then the, the outcome here is you're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating, right? Four of Swords energy. You're thinking and contemplating, what are you going to do here? Okay, and that's why I say you're trying to be victorious. You want to be right. Okay, this is a six of wands energy. And it looks to me like if you look at this card, it looks like you're sitting down and you're kind of thinking about it. You're planning about what you want to do. Maybe you want to send a message to someone about what you want to do here. I'm just looking at both cards. It's like <laughs> this four of swords energy is like this guy. He's like going to sneak up on someone else. And then we got next to it the six of wands energy, which is saying you want to be victorious. And you're trying to think of, okay, I want to be victorious and I'm going to send a message to somebody. Because that, that uh, this is the Lenormand Tarot. So that that, the, uh, that letter over there represents some kind of messages, okay? So it looks to me like you want to be victorious and you're going to send some kind of message or someone sent some kind of message to you that you have to think about and contemplate about who is your ideal partner, the magician. So I don't think that you made the decision by the end of this week here. Because the advice here, Spirit said to you was, 
you're gonna have to decide who you're having unrequited love with or is this the one who are you gonna have in chemistry with here okay so this tells me right here that there is a decision for my, my virgos to make all right so you need to think about this um which one is your ideal partner here this the the new opportunity of the other person that you've been dealing with here okay so just examine who do you have chemistry with who do you have the strong magnetic bond with here who do you feel that could be a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment here king of pentacles okay so so my virgos yeah let me know what's going on in this situation in the comments below wow <laughs> Sounds like a heck of a week to me. Guys, uh, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And if you if you would like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerszen.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a great week. Love you guys so much.